it's look, it's not um Yo, 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 one, two, yeah, there you go. There's me. And then loop back needs to be uh focus right, loop back, left and right. Yeah. You've upgraded. Yeah. Not by choice either. I think I did it by accident. Yo, how's everyone doing? Can you uh can you hear me? Can you hear the music? Can you see me? I've just had a very big curry, so I'm feeling especially hot, bloated, and red. Hot, hot, <laughs> hot bloated, and old. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> oh, I'm looking really cracked today. I don't know what it is. <laughs> How's everyone doing? I've uh, you can't really see it too well, but I've basically redone the whole setup. So, for one thing, the mic is no longer sticking out and looking like an extension to Dan's body. <laughs> That's good. Um, but yeah, I finally got like all my stuff set up. Um, you can see there I've got the push. On the other side, I've got the, the machine and also got the new Mini Freak through the other day as well, which is very, very cool. So hopefully we'll be using some of that tonight for um, our work on Zeta. It does work here. Yeah. Do you want me to... That's what I was curious. All oh, right. Yeah, no, it literally all it does at the moment is that. Exclusive. A really saggy sock. <laughs> Exclusive Dan Feet Feed. <laughs> <laughs> this is now an OnlyFans channel. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing with that yet. Pooch, pooch shot for free. Yeah, I know. But now, anyway, it's going to be locked behind tier three soon. Um, so, yeah, what are we, what are we going to work on tonight? You've been doing some vocal editing and... So, from memory, uh, we've got busy human sounding crazy. So, yep. it might be good to just kind of revisit that. Just do a quick revisit, see if we need anything we can add. Uh, slave is the one that I've got new stands. Now. Excellent, yeah. So I think you wanted to change it because it was possibly Yes, I think so. Corporate is done for that song is what I work. Yeah. So Yeah. Why don't we um leave it to you mate, you can decide. Oh, no, what you feel like. I'm I'm not making decisions. I don't do decisions. Uh right, so let's get into um a reason. Chocolate tube. I don't know what screen to use for. I guess this one makes sense. Or that one. Should we do that one? Yeah. Yeah. And then you can, you can keep an eye on the uh, chat for me. Chat. Actually, no. I want it there because then I, otherwise I can't I can't see myself. There you go. Uh, right. So, busy human. I was listening to that uh, this morning. Actually, I've got what a banger it was. Quiz mice. Quiz mice. Uh -huh. Be her. Quiz mice. Um, Zeta 2. Busy T3, human. Good, thank you. With final box. <clears throat> oh, yeah, infinite. I think it was just because uh, Dan's quite far away from, from the mic, but I'll, I'll turn it down more next time. Right, let's give this a. Is that the latest one with the side mid side chain on it? No, I did that on the 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 mix down. I was just on my work laptop, but I know how to do it. I'll do it again. Um, are you working? Yeah. Chris Morris. Chris Morris. Chris Morris. Chris Morris. <laughs> like as in brass eye. Hey, thank you very much for the stop. Hey! I'm hey. hey. coming. Woo! Choo choo! Choo choo! Turn the one on the left up as well so I can hear it. Turn the left one as well so I can hear it. Hello. Oh, really? Oh, you know what it is? I muted them. This was the background vocals mix. Yeah, it's fine. It's all it's all there. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. False start. False start. False start. I'm, I'm doing this just for you, Myth, because the intro is so good. You can hear it again.
I don't know where this um, clicking and popping is coming from. Uh, that's that's not been a thing before, so I'll have to... No, I'm at 48. I'm always at 48. The only thing I can think is if um, uh, Windows itself is maybe at a different, uh, different sample rate. That might do it. Oh, I hate control panel and Windows sound. It's, uh, 
Bonus properties. Ugh. I, I can't be bothered to... No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. So you were saying uh, a bridging note between... What, the, what was... What maybe needs to happen is it just needs to have a bit more of an impact, like... Let's try okay. something that start when I'm holding this note. It's yeah. something that's to creep in at that point. Okay, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Uh, like a sort of, like an FM 80 style bell or something. Mm -hmm. Just really del delicate in the back. The yeah. kind of three, almost like four shadows, that, that yeah. thing. Uh, right, what's good for that? What's good for that? PX7. Hey, Cortex, listen to Causeway. That is pretty a much a tune that one mate that's a tune and a half that <clears throat> right so one thing i need to figure out while i'm here so i've got this uh don't know if we'll be using it tonight but uh i picked up the arturia mini freak and because it's it sounds so good and it's so playable i kind of want this to be like the centerpiece of the um of the setup and i want it to be master, master controller as well but i'm trying to figure out the best way to work it in as this makes sound but you don't always want it to make sound, so you have to kind of disconnect the keyboard from its internal thing. So I'm going to try and use that to sequence this. Um, I'm sure we, might, we can maybe do some like external sound replacement stuff at some point as well. That'd be cool. Like that. uh, right, so I want to go into Shift, Utilities, MIDI, Local Control, Off. So then that should just turn this into a MIDI controller. Cortex with the 25. Hey, thank you very much, Cortex. I've apparently collected all of the level one emotes. I don't know what that means, but it's great. It's it's awesome. Is that a Cortex fan? That's a uh, Fringe reference, right? Because I love that show. It's brilliant. Um, PX7. So we want... Uh, let's see. Legacy Select Bells. There you go. Brilliant. Horrible. Ridiculous. Shit. 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 <laughs> oh, that's quite nice. We've got reverb on it, a bit of delay. So you're saying something that's kind of similar to. Don't want to be on 30 seconds, we want to be on 16th notes. Yeah, we'll play it again at some point. We were talking about it earlier, we didn't realise we were on it for like three hours. Oh, The Ascent, yeah, that was sick. Yeah, it was good fun. Put some delay on it. I feel like there's there's one uh, device in here that's maybe using a lot of CPU, and I don't know what it is. One of the fifty. Uh, it says they're all. I mean, look at the bar down there. It's like it's nothing. Oh, yeah. it's weird. Anyway. And also the fact that I'm using like 20 different reverbs as inserts. That's, it's the one thing that I always used to tell people not to do when they first started recording. And now I'm just like, I can't be bothered. It's fine. And we also, we can put um, a MIDI delay on this that will step up like an octave with each delay. Mm. Uh, so we go pitch, transpose, 12 semitones, one repeat lower velocity Ooh. that's nice that's dreamy 
and then we'll increase the number of delays. We'll make the delay blur a bit as it goes on. And then hopefully in the mix, it should sound quite nice. I still don't know how to finish it yet. I was thinking maybe sort of double length that final chord. And then, I don't know if you could sort of end it on a, you could maybe cut back to the, the tape effect and fade out. Yeah. Did we do something similar on the first record of the song? Um, I think we started one that, that way, possibly. I don't know if we ended one that way. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. But overall, yeah, how, how are you feeling about that? I'm really used to that now. Listen to it a lot. Yeah. I didn't think there'd be a lot to do to it. There was nothing like... There were no gaps. Yeah. Nothing nothing felt empty. Yeah. I think a lot of it's just going to be in, in the final... Um, the final polish, really. But the vocals are sounding fantastic. Uh, do you feel that like that lead patch could be brighter, maybe? Or do you like it quite mellow? <laughs> Getting a bit lost. Where's that going? What would also make that pop out a bit more is um, if we use a stereo widener on it. So it kind of leaps out of the mix a little bit more. Seems like it's, it's too wet, maybe. Like too clear on it, so it's not as defined. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah there you go. That's, uh, that's one of my many bad habits, is just putting loads of reverb and delay on absolutely everything. Probably stop doing that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much happy to call that Mm. finished minus what, what, what I've been doing with um, the guys on my stream is when we've been uh, going through the tracking process we get so far then we do a blind listen mm -hmm. so we'll go to like a different scene we just the, the visualise it we just sit and yeah, make notes yeah, yeah, yeah. like don't look just headphones and just listen to it yeah you know what I could do actually would be really cool is I, I'll on a, another stream sometime I've got that software where you can make your own visualisers yeah can have it all respond to like different frequencies yeah. and stuff just have that's a really good idea there is have a scene set up that is just listening yeah because i think sometimes when when you've got the thing up i i'm really bad i tend to scroll around yeah i'm looking at things i'm adjusting i'm like i'm not really yeah. listening you got to step away for a minute yeah definitely definitely but yeah well, i felt like i've stepped away enough for that one that feels you know yeah it feels finished yeah the only thing that's probably different on this than what you've been listening to is that it doesn't have the um slide chain. the uh, mid side yeah processing so, so this is, I was chatting to Dan about this um, the other day. I've kind of avoided uh, tackling mid-side processing because I, I wasn't really too sure how it works. Um, and we tried it out on this track and it made a really big difference. So that's something to, to do for another time. Um, but it definitely does, does make a difference. So in terms of um, files, yeah. uh, should we do corporate? Corporate yeah, space? That, that needs some work, doesn't it? I think that's a good, good track to work on tonight. Uh, so you wouldn't... Oh, for me, you just need to go in the mix down folder. Yeah, I need to uh, find it. <laughs> it's in it. It's in here somewhere. Uh, I think it is literally called Corporate Space. Corporation. Nation. 
I mean, you'd, you'd think so. Or it's in uh, it's in the old, yeah, old data because it's an old song. Uh, Reason projects. Yeah. Or there you go, corporate space. And then what I'll do is I'll resave that into our Zeta two folder, so it's like it's there. Yeah, it's this one. Oh mate, this is gonna this is gonna need some doing. Shave as uh, Zeta 2 corporate space. And then your vocals just tell me what I need to grab. It should be all of that, all of that, all of that. Okay. every little thing. So I'm going to copy that to three groups, four of <laughs> The Zeta 2 corporate space vocals. My C drive has got like 500 megabytes. It's ridiculous. It. <laughs> it's like no matter what you do, it's it's literally always full. It does my head in. I don't know where to start. You're deleting files to clear space. No, me, I'll delete something really important. Yeah. Just delete system 32. You don't need that. You don't need any of that. Uh, I'll just catch up with chat quickly, see if I've missed anything. Um, that's a clip. Well, I can't remember what happened. Um, yes, David, how's it going, mate? I've been trying to get something good for corporate. The people keep coming out all jacked up and ruining otherwise cool renders. <laughs> Uh, ran out my trial for mid journey doing such yeah I want a subscription for that as well infinite um I think it's like 25 quid a month or something oh really yeah but it is good I thought it was free didn't realize. no it's, so you, you can do it for free but it submits your creations to like a public gallery as well oh whereas if you pay you get like a private bot right so that's and then you're free to use it yeah 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 got it uh so hopefully this is all gonna line up we can I bet you it doesn't. <laughs> I bet you. That's the spirit, mate. One bit of left. <laughs> one, one tiny sip of left. Uh, ah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, it looks like it could be good. Okay. Yeah, don't need bussing, grouping, lifting up. Yeah. So we'll call this uh, Vox Master Group. Um, and then we'll just put like a gain utility on it. <clears throat> Use this one.
what I did last time. <clears throat> Your vocals are going through the same oh, half chain as the yeah, thing. Yeah. So just temporarily, what we can do is bus the music separately. So we'll just call this uh, music, I guess. And then we'll move that mastering chain uh, from the master bus to the music bus. And hopefully your vocals should sound as you remember them. A quick note on this track. Yep. Sonically, I feel like it's missing the depth to it. Yeah. In places. Yeah. Just to note. Well, the, the, the thing with this song, because you see that every track is using the same instrument. So I had to make presets for this device and only use this device to make the song. It was like a as a demonstration for oh, what. So you're gonna have to rebuild that then. Well, I could redesign just, it. Yeah, where you've got the MIDI, so you can just yeah. Yeah, where it makes sense to him, I and I, I do like some of the sounds in it, but I think like the bass is a bit lacking. The snare's a little bit weird. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so let's work on. We'll work on the bass sound first, I think, because that's going to be quite a big, a big part of it. So, you can mute vocals if you need to for this. You don't need them in. You just want them in. That's. Yeah, that's... It's not great, is it? Absolute MIDI bass. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hey, thank you very much for the follow. Uh, I'm trying to think what what instrument to use for that. Um, I don't want to be boring and use the same thing that I use every time. It's probably going to be. Is this got anything? I mean, we could try it. Time to try it. New new toys, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's let's do it. We're we're going to use the mini freak. So to do that, I need to make a. MIDI out device <clears throat> and that's going to go to the mini and then we make an audio track and that's going to get its audio from digi 5 and 6 which should be uh, 
Why is that not working? Something soloed. I'm soloed. That's why it's not working. Let's see. <laughs> Is that like, has it got an, can you pull that out any further? Is this thing? No, no, the stream deck. That thing. Uh, I could put it anywhere, yeah. Because I can control your camera for you if you like. You know, if you're ever doing any tappy stuff, I can show people what, what you're doing. You don't have to worry about it. I'll pull you back again. I'll have to untangle Next that wire, time. but yeah. I can be your cameraman. <laughs> Dan likes it. Dan likes the industrial kicks. Uh, I mean, we could try could try and find one, or we could try and make one. Um, let me bring the base up onto that. No, it's not audio, it's MIDI. There you go. And then we can solo this guy. We're gonna make this into a two. Okay, so we want to drop the octave. Then bring in On it right now, consensus is giving it a big one. Text of the song, but There's a unison model just on one of the oscillators, so we could try using it for that. So that's just on, on a single oscillator instead of the whole patch. So the, the bottom part of it is a single oscillator, and then the top half is a... That's not nice. Filter is this one, this is the color. And then the, the red. 
resonance is how sort of like zappy is. So you've got this envelope here, that's like the volume of it. Mm -hmm. But you can also use the envelope to, to open and close this filter. So at the moment, it's not very, it's not mapped to that a lot. So put it up more, then you can bring this down. So it should stick through the mix. What we'll have to do then, because obviously this is coming from audio, is we'll do a, a pass of the song while recording. Oh, okay. Um, and then I can maybe sort of tweak it as I go, sort of turn things up and down and, and whatnot. Hey, Shark, how's it going, man? I've seen uh, a few very brief pictures of Katie with the Pantheon gang, so I know, I know that the plane landed and she's out there all right, so... Is there a way to auto filter those kind of messages? Or yeah, there is. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to shuffle back in as well. Yeah, you should be able to. Oh, it's that one there. Look, it's the that icon. Yeah. There you go. Nice one. Thank you. Sorry. That's all right. Second mouse needed. Yeah. Dual mouse. Um. So yeah, let's go for a pass of this. Um, uh, and then we can always revisit other bits and be like, we can try it with a you know brighter sound or darker yeah. sound or whatever. Going again because it was too long. Sounds better shorter, I think.
great. There we go, that the uh catch up on on chat because i had you guys paused for a second uh shark says love the song thank you very much dude um uh, new vocals yeah. yeah so dan's been been very busy tracking vocals editing and then he just comes over with the hard drive and it's it's all done uh things sounded much clearer with this sound yeah definitely i think that other bass sound was really it had like a flubbiness to it it was going like blip, 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 blip. um wait this is another song yeah we got those mate um Definitely needs more reverb in comparison to the prod. The vocals, you mean? You've you've already got your effects bus in there, haven't you? So we can just bring Yeah. We can bring that. Yeah. I did deliberately keep the reverb very tasteful, very low in the mix. And but also there's more of it feeding into the reverb the, the delay. So the, the, the delay's carrying it. Yeah, I think once we've also got like that kind of choral layer in there as well, yeah. that's going to go a long way, I think, to making the vocals sound a bit richer. So what I'm going to do on this this thing, so we kind of just go through and listen, I feel like some parts of it, it could do with being a bit brighter. Maybe on, on this track, it could be a lot more like bitey. To be fair, the vocals need to go off anyway. Yeah. So you hear more effects with the volume. It's really sort of like. So it's more punchy. Yeah. Go in and just record this bit. There's also, if you look down here, uh, there's this thing called chaotic oscillators. Uh, no, it's not that one. Where is it now? Sharp, no, the lift. And my training goggles. I couldn't move on the thing. <laughs> I'm going to bring a little bit of the bottom end out. Probably in fashion a bit. Yeah. Uh, so let's go back to synth cam. Pardon me. That was horrible. Sorry. Oh, is it really? I had no idea. I had no idea at all. Snooze, 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 yeah. I don't think it is. They're Japan X. Oh, maybe they're like snooze out in Japan. <laughs> God, I love it. Look at go around just one more time because I tightened up the envelope mm. on that and then I can reuse this whole section here for the end or maybe have it sort of filtered down as it as it comes to an end that'd be good end bit the um 
Shark, we've already actually got a note for that. So when you come out of the chorus, yeah, there's a counterpoint vocal that's actually going to go over that last verse. Uh, I actually, when I did my last stream, <clears throat> when I was recording it, someone brought that up and made a note and said you can take a phrase from the chorus oh. and underlay it. Is that, is that something we and can I was do gonna, with... I was going to ask if we could do it tonight at some point. Yeah, yeah. Well, what, you're saying like record new vocals? No, no, as in like there's we could take one of the lines. Got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So for this bit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a new pass on this end section. And then as the song ends, I'll just bring the filter down a little bit to tame the bass sound. That's the only thing with working with hardware, obviously, is you have to print things to audio. So it's a little bit slower than working with MIDI, but I think you gain something in the actual sound of it. And it's, it feels a bit more performed as well um, than not. Sounding nice, sounding much better. Probably get rid of this last little uh, bass yeah. phrase as well, because if that's only there if it needs to lead back in. I thought what we could do as well with those that that section on the end and maybe in choice places is have like some reverse. Thank you very much for the follow. Reverse reverb swells leading into the the phrases. Yeah, yeah, push yeah. Push and pull. Yeah, and then also maybe. Um, not that I want to fall into that trap of doing vocoder all the time, but if there's some variation on that, some different sound we can create with it. Yeah. Um, right, let me just uh, sort this sound out a bit because it's quite... Yes, I'm using OTT. What about it? That's better. It's not as right. Making more room. This is bass mini freak. I also need to save this preset. I've not saved any presets yet. Uh, so let's put it on 257. It's a bass patch and it's called, we'll call it Corpo Bass. Man, this is long. <laughs> P. O. I think this will be, I was going to say it's the first Zeta song we've used hardware on, but I think mm -hmm. we used it on uh, the Cyberpunk track. Use the Neutron. The Neutron Blaster. <laughs> yeah. Right, Corpo Bass. How do I How do I actually save it now? Get these people here. You got what you want, Kohagen. Right, so that's saved now. Uh, we'll call this. Oh, what was the um, two fifty seven? There you go. What was the guy called? The guy with the alien in his tummy that comes out. Come on, man! I got five kids to feed. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> oh, he was cool. Right, so let's uh, let's get that sorted out. There's no side chaining or anything on this yet as well. It's literally just like raw. Mm -hmm raw mix make it big um like my muscles <laughs> so this is the bass midi we'll keep that in case we need to go back in and and do anything else with it you said do you know that guy called the liver king yeah yeah do you see it's been leaked that he does loads of steroids it's like yeah i think really <laughs> yeah it's been leaked yeah because he's been claiming that it just eats liver 
Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. For being the liver king. Yeah. Just me. I was like, it's like, dude, your abs look like a turtle shell. Like, there's no <laughs> way that you you get that from just like. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, right. What's this base saying? So this one can actually go now because we're not using it. Imagine eating raw liver for breakfast. I'm good. Oh, cornflakes. That's a lot of liver, though, isn't it? That's many, many livers, many mm. lives. Yeah. But also, if everyone lived like that. You'd, you'd need Benny. That's his name. Benny. <laughs> Screw you! <laughs> so you're saying we could do with uh, some choral sounds. Are you thinking like kind of retro sounding? Like artificial choirs or something more modern I don't think it should come into the half halfway point around here Cortex, see you next time, mate. Let me just, out of interest, I want to try raising that whole pad section by an octave. Because in, in that intro section... Mm, that's what I was hearing, but I was hearing it in a, in a choral choir context. Yeah, so let's, let's back that up with... Ooh. Are you thinking just straight ooze? I mean, I don't know what different types of sounds you've got going. Let's see. Um... <laughs> Not that. It's the kind of thing I don't want to do vocals for because I tend to find that it gets super cluttered. Can be nice. I mean, that's a bit too choral. Oh, I do actually have. Uh, okay, hang on, hang on. I've got something that can do that. Um, it's part of uh, complete. And complete. What I should be able to do is use the mod wheel strip to open the valves of the choir. So, factory library, choir, valve morphs, and then see what that does. Or do like a... That was an ER, wasn't it? A to E, A to I, A to M. Maybe A to M and then we'll go M to, M to A. I don't know, it's kind of... Like that kind yeah, of thing? Yeah, yeah. Mm, from... Yeah, let's try it. So we'll go... One semi-occluded, one's not. It's yeah, fine. so if we just take that whole That's fine. thing... That's not the right. Oh, I think that pad has like a fifth in it, so I'll just have to write new chords. It's fine. Damn! So just to remind me, you want it to come in around here.
We could try me just recording one way, just to, just to make it like Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, well, let me sequence this as MIDI yeah. anyway, and then we've and then we've got it. Heavenly. That's a clashy note. to the ah uh, than um yeah well that was really close so like that's better so I kind of open it up towards the end of each pool so yeah So each one. Yeah, that's what it's doing. So it's change, change, change. I change it on both of those then. Which one there? I do there, like that there. Oh, but that's only one. It. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's just because it. Yeah, it's just one chord here. It doesn't. It's like a double length then half half. In fact, I would bring that in volume it's up towards that point. So then it swells. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, it kind of—I feel like it overstays. A yeah. Bit. It, it kind of lingers. So, um, can I just automate the volume? Can I do that? Is that volume? Sweet. I can't. Excellent. Um, come on. Come on. Just do it that way. I think. So yeah, sort of bring it up to that high point. You can start with the ooh, and have it all quite audible. Okay. Because there's no real impact at that point. 
Yeah, maybe I'm going to dip it a bit halfway through the chord so it's not just a constant. So it's got a bit of like dynamics to it. Are a bit flattered as well. second half to do that with volume yeah so it needs to start strong start strong it needs to start strong yeah halfway and then come in again strong so you basically got one phrase here start strong dips go straight to another one dips Doing that shit again. And throw it up again at that point. Quicker, even as Yeah, as in like a new phrase. So you, I'll take that, maybe potentially take that, yeah, bring it right down. As if the choir's taking a breath. Mm -hmm. You could try and do some moves if you want. <laughs> try. Is it set up? Set up? Uh, you can be very shortly. Um, I mean, we'll we'll keep this anyway. We'll just keep mm. it muted. Um, I, I'm Perhaps not sing over it. I'm not feeling it at the minute. Yeah, same. Um, I think it's just a sound choice more than anything. Um, so you need an audio track. Let me put you down at the bottom. Should have got my monitors, but I didn't bring my monitors. And then you are in digital one, which is this guy. Uh, sing or say something. Hello. Hello there. Hi. Hi. One, two, yes. Hello. That's not working. Uh, keep, keep doing, making noise. <gasps> <laughs> uh, keep going. Okay. Right, let's try that. Uh, let me get some headphones and then I can monitor the vocals and it won't fit yeah. back. I use uh, monitor. Ooh, very boomy. Yeah, I'll be Need some soundproofing in here, Paul. Soundproofing. Buh. Buh. Wow. Reverb might add to the choir feel.
You know what sounds really nice on uh, your voice? Be one of these, look. Say something. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any like? Have you got Ovox and any cool like live vocal to MIDI stuff? I've seen a few plugins that might be nice to toy with. I yeah. Get hold of. I can I can turn your voice voice into vocals. it, not live. Yeah. Yeah, not, I can do it after, after the fact. Yeah. It's really reverby. It's very bo very boomy. Although ah, it is. Ah, eh, eh. Mate, that's so loud. But. Eh, eh, one, two, one, two. That's quite, um, it's quite hot, Paul. It's quite hot. Wow, you are hot. You're a hot mic. That's better, look. Yeah, you're a hot boy. Uh, I've got some noise gate on it as well. Channel dynamics. Try cell. Absolute try cell. Pure try cell. Legit tri cell. There you go. That's genuine tri cell. That's cutting all the noise of the computer out. Absolute tri cell. You want some reverb on? Indefinite tri cell. You want some reverb on your voice? Nah. Nice and dry. Something sounds uh, off in yeah. my headphones. Ah. Also, these headphones sound way different to what I'm used to, so the mix sounds like absolute garbage. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Ow. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. Guys, give me a second. <laughs> I'm, I'm hurt. <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> right, let's just. Uh... Hey, Nikki, how you doing? Right, should we just go for it? Let's vibe it, yeah. Automation or you no, I could do that. Okay, yeah. I'm like, I'm just trying to figure out where and how. Wait, what am I doing? Ah, okay. I'll just record it on loop a few times and then just mm. to capture a few.
I can't figure out the camera angle. <laughs> uh, let's hear that with... Get rid of what we've got. Yep. And then we'll lay down some better ones. These headphones are weird and I don't like them. You want to swap? No, that's right. I don't really need these. I can track to anything. Yep. So if you'd rather listen to these. Yeah, because I'm used to those ones. Well, we could just. Yeah. I think one side of them's going as well. Because she has them up too bad. I nearly bought my these for you to try out. I'm kind of annoyed. Oh, that's better. Oh, yeah. Wow. Something, These are ready, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, something's, something's wrong with them. I don't know what it is. Uh, I'll give you a little lead in this time as well. Yeah. Oh, you want to do like multiple? Yeah. Yeah. Also, I um, I was getting a bit thrown off by the other one, but keep it in because I have a can off. So okay. I mean, I can... it's okay. Can we do my? This is how I track vocals, right? So what we do now? Create that loop for me. Yeah, it's all set up. Yeah, set up. Just let it roll. Delete the ones we've got, and I'll track up four decent takes. But I'll click through them at the end if I know that it's good enough. If not, I'll keep going till we get four clicks. Let me know we've got those. Thanks. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll just mute these and we can just put them on additional. Check. Okay. <laughs> so we can just comp through them at the end. Yeah. Okay. I don't need to. So you want to record I didn't realise it? it was going straight and I thought it had the cue in it. Oh, do you want me to, to loop it from like a from, bar back? Yeah. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. Oh no. Hang on, hang on. Tape, tape. No, 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 no. I think uh, Katie's mic has that adapter on it that you need. I'm pretty sure it does. Keep everyone entertained, Dan. The mic fell off the stand because we don't have a clip for it and it's literally just hanging on the end. So, give us a sec. It's either use Katie's or gaffer tape. Is it this bit, Dan, that's inside that clip? Yeah, yeah. I thought it was. Um, yeah, bro. I've nicked so much Katie stuff <laughs> whilst we've been away. That stand that the deep mind is on, that's hers. She's going to have to do there and shit as well. Oh, good. 
right back with you guys. Oh, it's really in there. Dude, seriously. Last one, brother. Oh, gear, studio, gear, <laughs> things, people, animals, oh. food, drink, beer, grog. Grog. <laughs> what, you pirate? <laughs> right, this time, it should be a breeze. We're all set up now. We're all set up. Can you tilt the camera? I'll tell you what, I could just, uh, let me change the angle of this one so that it's pointing at Dan there you go and then I'll move the it's on the wonk but I can't do anything about that sorry pure wonkiness absolute Mars bar pure solid irregular geometric that is, that's premium, Pre <laughs> premium content, that, look at that. Primo. Okay. Primitivo. Latte. Cappuccino. Voodoo. <laughs> Voodoo. <laughs> Java. Right, you ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, shit, sorry. Me? The cat, the angle wise. Oh yeah, it's just you were on the tilt. Me? Yeah. On the tilt. Yeah, yeah. it was very dramatic looking. <laughs> um, should we keep doing it through headphones or do you want to do it through speakers? Mm. I'll do it through headphones and then it, it won't pick up, pick up on the thing. Right. Uh, this was the game plan all along, wasn't it? Get me singing so you can get your headphones back. Yeah. <laughs> um, so if we start from here. So they can be obviously be deleted because I wasn't sure what I was singing. I was clashing with something. I need time to work that stuff out. Okay. Um, I never usually do this. So. All of them can be tuned. Really? Yeah. But then that's everything that we've done. What? That's everything you just did. I know. Well, then we'll have nothing. Tune them. Tune them. Pitch shift them. Yeah. But which take do you want to use out of all of those? All of them. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, but there's some missing. Yeah, but what we'll do is we'll take the others, take a block of the others and tune them. Okay, all right, fair enough. Uh, so in that case, and how many layers do you want? Four. Three, 
you to group them all, compress them. Right, so if we go into comp edit and we'll say this one is that one. Uh, yeah, so one, two, three, and four, four, there you go. So you're saying take these and just pitch them? Essentially, yeah. Yeah. These ones are fine. So let's grab that, get rid of them, grab that, duplicate. <laughs> I think he wants in. So these just need to go up one. Do I do that? How do I do that? <laughs> no. Is that what cats do? Yeah. Never get a cat. And pitch at it. And get the right balance otherwise it sounds shocking and um, the second one's always going to be like super low and it'll be the lowest of the whole quad almost inaudible it's just there is a very gentle layer okay bottom two pan left and right and they'll normally in my mix they'll be like minus 14 db on either side so bottom two well i think which are the, the most recent ones that is yeah it's those bottom two so you want those ones hard left and right hard left and right down in the mix. Yeah, number two will be lower than those two by a, a, de a deal. That's a bit, probably a bit too far, but it's fine. And then they're all grouped and compressed, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, they will be, yeah. audio alignment tool in reason uh you can change the position of things yeah can you select one and then align others to no ah, <laughs> no but we can we can slide them about like inside of their thing if we need to do you can you stretch them we've got a stretch tool yeah um so all i would do is just snip and pull that one back that take the breaths from these pods yeah i only have one breath <gasps> on the initial okay. So let's, uh, this is all uncharted territory to me, Dan. Uh, snap on, actually. Do grid. Okay, so we'll have, do you want the breath it's on the left? It's very similar to editing guitars because, ooh. Hey, thank you very much for the follow, Irene, Irene man. So I would snip that one there and just stretch it back so it's a bit closer to the others because mm -hmm. that one goes on a bit too long. Uh, I think I have to do it. Been a while since I've the boundaries of reason. Just do that. Then. Perfect. And then <clears throat> snip the waveform to just before the first tiny peak mm -hmm. on all four of them. Bring them all in. Yeah. I mean, just I'll get them so they're all the same length and then I can just do. And get a fade on them, a nice fade that goes over the first peak. Like that. Well, a bit further. They, they're perfect. And then the same on the end as well. Then they should all be nice and tight and cool. Beautiful. That gate is a bit aggressive. Uh, I think there's a gate on all of them, actually. Yeah, there is. Uh, let's take this one off. 
You can turn that up if you want to hear it, by the way. Oh, okay. Speakers. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Bro, sorry. <laughs> uh, pro streamer. Um, I mean, you can always redo them at yours, or I can, I can flatten them out or whatever. Um, that third one, it's a weird one. It clashes. Does it kind of work? Well, this this one? Like the note choice itself. It's just it, weird. I think it will work with other notes under it. Yeah. Um. So, like, if we... Let's do... Uh, yeah, sorry about the uh, mute action, guys. There's still so much work to do on the actual yeah, sound as bit, well. Like, we're getting a bit carried away, really, but I think we just wanted to try something different for the first time. Didn't we? So if I duplicate these, 
Hey, thank you very much for the follow, Standalone UK. Um, so I'm trying to think what note we go under. Mm -hmm. Or a lower note. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, under this first one. Oh, right. I'm thinking of the third one. Carry on. Well, let me mute these. So. Mm -hmm. Making some kind of jazzy chords with it. I think that might be a bit because that'll be like a second interval, like. Worst. Ah. So the original. So you're saying. Hmm. Uh, get rid of these. Ooh, get that kind of like slightly resolved feel. Yeah. One of those is clashing. Yeah. It's the it's this one, I think. Need to, I need to solo it to hear it. It's an awkward interval because it's mm -hmm, like it's like playing two keys next to each other. Um, let's see if we can. There's already a vocal harmony there as well at that point. Can we just turn all of these into tritones? Like, um, and then I oh know it should be the same again, wouldn't it? So, uh, three and four. And unmute. And that needs a third note as well, so we've got. Which is there. There you go. Turn up a bit more something. 
Det vil jeg godt fundere. Yeah, I think it's having so that the the beat sort of falls halfway in, in the fade in. Mm. That seems to work really well. Yeah, I can do that on. Um, I can just do that on a group level, I think. So we'll do it before the reverb, I guess. And then we'll fix the mix. The mix? Do you want to have a little bit of this? Uh, yeah, I've probably touched this actually. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's quite a strong left, I know. Put them pills back in my pocket. <laughs> oh yeah, I was gonna automate the uh Hey Swag, good to see you mate. So you're saying just to kind of like Kind of, kind of. Um, just sort of bring it up towards the end of the phrase. Mm -hmm. I'd also lower it a little bit at the start, just so it's sort of just bleeds. <laughs> Won't get too too lost in no. the, the details because you're probably just going to redo all these anyway. Maybe. I mean, they sound all right. I like the fact that we're doing it on the fly and you can create things from a mess. Yeah. It still sounds good. Um, just generally speaking, because obviously a lot of you are listening on different setups uh, to me. Thank you very much, Swaggeroni. That is an amazing screen name. Um, how is it sounding mix-wise, depending on, on what you're listening to? Um, because those other headphones are completely throwing me off now. I'm like, does it actually sound that bad? And I'm just used to these things. Like, the bass I'm happy with. Let's um, go back to the monitors. I'm going to get rid of this choir thing that we made because it's just terrible. Yeah. I reckon let's get into the music for a bit now and go crazy with that stuff. Yeah. So we've lifted the, uh, the pads there. I'm going to do the same here as well because they were an octave too low. So that's going to sound really good. Uh, they're muted anyway, so I think we'll get rid of them. Um, so you say you weren't feeling the, the snare too much? Frequency-wise, it's... Could be this thing. Okay. It was a little um, like a slapback delay to kind of make oh. it sound like whatever. But I can selectively apply that to different parts of the kit rather than the whole thing. Because I think that's adding some weird overtone stuff. So if we listen to it without that effect it felt, on... It just felt very... Yeah. That hit synth and... <laughs> Let's... Um... We'll go around the back and bus everything out to its own uh, its own channel. We'll just do everything. Hi hat. Pretty sure I'm using toms. Um, let's see. Go in here. We'll make a line mixer, and then we'll feed the toms into that. 
Tom, Tom, Tom. I don't even know if I'm using the ride, but whatever. Definitely not using tambourine or congas. Using the clap though. I mean, that's if you're feeling the the drum sounds full stop. We could try something else. I like the kick. Yeah. The snare's not a million miles away. I don't know. It just all sounded very small. It's probably because, I mean, there's no reverb on it or anything. Like We could put a, um, like a gated verb on the snare and then compress it a bit. Like... We add in like another layer of hats or something. <laughs> Just doing something a bit more interesting. <laughs> uh, but in the meantime, I'm just going to put. I'm going to try put some phaser on this. Get me some cowbell. <laughs> oh, we can put some cowbell in if you want. That's nice, mm. like a widening effect on it. This is without. Yeah. It's like the uh, the Radio Gaga sound. Mm. It's very like it's probably what they used. It's the same same samples. And we need to. Put all of these together um, into one group. I'll call that drums group. And then we can just put a bit of punch on the whole kit as well. Oops. Maybe the kit could have a bit more weight to it. So without Fuser says more volume differences on the kick with the strong weak hits would help you get more feeling from the groove that's probably not a bad shout to be honest mate I think it's at the moment it's all just like yeah it's all just full on all the time so I'm going to merge oh maybe I should keep them separate actually let's see let's see what the kick's doing saying the kick would be a bit more actually no the kick's fine at the minute I think the snare's disappeared it's not quite as good. let's try Try what I did last time, and uh, there's some good kicks and snares in here. I think we've already used that kick for. Um, is it human? Possibly. It's a good kick, but I don't want to have it sound the same. That snare's quite nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if we... Let's see. I should just be able to... Because on this drum machine, every drum sends out like a little tick 
when it's hit. Mm. So I should be able to just grab the gate out from the snare we already have and then trigger that new one with it. And <laughs> Swaggeroni says, I used to use Reason years ago, this makes me want to go back to it. It's such a cool program. Yeah, it's it's cool. Like, so being able to do things like that, like, you know, send those little gate signals into other things and stuff is really good. Where I feel it kind of starts to fall apart a bit is once your projects start getting bigger and there's no way to collapse things down into like boulders and stuff. That's always my big thing is, is organization. You, you really have to stay on top of it. Um, do a lot of manual, you know, coloring and naming and stuff. But I think a lot of that's offset by how like creative it is. Um, so yeah, definitely worth checking it out again if, if you've not used it for a while. Obviously it does VSTs now and, you know, audio editing and, and all the rest of it. Uh, knife Pike says I'm off the bed. Keep up the good work, guys. Nice one. Thank you very much, Knife. Sorry, I've, I've not been very um, perceptive to chat. I've, I've been very much in in the hole, been in the work hole. Yeah. But um, yeah, I don't know. Are you, are you feeling that snare more or? Yeah. <laughs> It's just not bright enough, is it? Yeah. You. These are all very fuddy. You know what? Stop it. Stop. Splice time. Yeah. Uh, it's always splice time. Uh, splice. Splice of life. That was terrible. <laughs> All right, let's search for synthwave snare. Maybe we want to filter by one shot. Synthwave snare. This is this is the life of the producer. It just producer. claps at the end as well. <laughs> about something like that yeah go away let me mute the original one because it's just too horrible <laughs> nice. Good snare, bro. Very synth wave. I love it. Too clubby. Yeah. <laughs> Put an EastEnders Duffer Duff in there. Do, 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 do. I have to make my own at this point, you know. It's very uh, Michael Jackson. <laughs> what kind of what are you hearing in your head? Like more clappy, more writable. The never ending snare doom scroll. Yeah, it's ridiculous, man. These are all terrible. Maybe uh they don't sound the same as well. I feel like you were you were quite close about three steps back as oh, out of this program back in the season. Oh what about one of these kind of like 
Let me just try. I've got to try something mm. at some point. Oh my god, go away. Reverb. Fixes everything. And then we'll compress it a bit as well. Uh, I'm just going to be lazy and put it in the arranger. That, mm -hmm. <laughs> like whatever. I love. So you can hear it. Be good. Drum group. That's going to have a nice trade on it as well. Already. I'm already on it, mate. He's on it. He he's, knows. He's he knows only, exactly what it needs to have. He's only gone and bloody... A bit lost. I think this is already clapped in there going da 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 da. So it's potentially fine. Maybe like a D one will probably be high. Maybe as well. So you see this thing here, it's doing like a little maybe have it there but not there. Because mm -hmm. it's clashing with, with the new clap. <laughs> Sorry, Nikki. Danny, how's it going, man? So I was gonna come, I was gonna let you know when we were on, and uh, I didn't. So yeah, <laughs> glad you could tune in. Uh, we're working on some tunes for Zeta Two. Uh, I think we're about five tracks in now. About that. Mm, yeah, not so far. It's, it's coming really, really quickly. Considering we we started working properly on this, like it feels like about two months ago, ish. Yeah. Um, so for the sake of Anyone that's just got here, and especially for Danny, uh, and it would be good anyways just to kind of take stock of the whole song and see where we're at. Mm.
What are we saying, guys? I think it's it's definitely it's tighter than when we first yeah. started. Um, oh, thank you, Nikki. Thank you, Danny. Uh, this is not the time for a GeForce Game Ready Driver update. Not now. <laughs> not now. Stop it. Um, so, one thing that's kind of pissing me off is... Daniel. Daniel. <laughs> forgot your middle name, Tom. <laughs> Daniel, what is your name? Those hats. There's yeah. no groove in them. There's no feel, yeah, the, nothing. Yeah. Uh, and I'm pretty sure they're just, they're literally doing the same thing all the way through. So I'm going to mute these. Uh, Bring up some new ones in with a bit more like. You know, with the percussion, there needs to be more like stabs. Like. Dun, 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 dun. I'm getting that. Dun, dun. <laughs> oh, it was in my head a second ago. Oh. I love that. It's like, yeah, the percussion. <laughs> like, it needs it needs to go like more. I was building up to it. <laughs> In my head, it was doing something different. And then sometimes it can go. <laughs> oh, no, and then we can have like a tom It's like digga 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 digga. <laughs> um, let me right. Let me. I know what you mean. Like more like incidental. Some percussion. stabs. You know, random, yeah. interesting things. Yeah. Yeah, because I think there's like this little shitty wood block and some claps and stuff, but we can we can add all that in. Um, so I'm gonna try. It's... <laughs> um... oh, oh, this yeah. Kong also needs to be in the drums group because it is drums. Uh, I'm getting all confused now. Pap is nice though. Mm. So if we do uh, strong beats, because before they were literally just like 127 the whole time, put them up and then put some weak beats in. Oh, you know. Stop it. Weak beats. Beats. Weak beats. Weak beats. Ah. But I know what you mean. It needs more like um flamboyance. Yeah. Attitude. For now, I'm just going to replace everything that's there. Variation. I like to copy and paste. Uh, hats, 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 hats. Let's see how that sounds with the music. up on on chat have you guys ever played teenage mutant ninja turtles shredders revenge i feel like if anyone has it's gonna be you yeah i can't remember it but i remember i, I did play it uh maybe the transitions could be more dynamic yeah that's that's definitely something we want to work on fuses so you were talking about some big like reverse chord swells and stuff to kind of link between sections and stuff um which we can put in tonight i think um you know what I could just do is not be lazy and just play in some new hats with more variations and then I can put those little... Tss, tss. Are there any crashes in there? Yeah, it's not very good though. Maybe it just needs to be wetter. Uh, yeah, I'm going to just play in some new new hats. I'm, I'm trying to be lazy and I'm just creating more work for myself. So um, Let's make a new note lane. I want to see where I need to get some finger snaps on the chorus snare. All that.
kind of shit. I mean, could you? Let me just try something. He's got to try something, dude. Shit. <laughs> instead of just For that verse section, you're mm. saying tighten up those chord stamps a bit, or maybe try them on like a different. It's just I'll just listen to it and focus on what's going on. So I mean, there's a lot of stuff in there that you're not even hearing. So that's in, but it's not. Mute it for a second. Mute this. Yeah, just mute it. <laughs> Mix on it. Why? Why is there no mix? What the hell, man? I mean, I could try just taking it off. Is there potentially a different sound we could use on that? As much as I love it, and we should definitely save it. For which bit? Yeah. For the whole song or just for that section? For that section. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to... Hey, lovely. Thank you very much for the follow, Jim Arari. Um, I feel like it's one of those moments where we should be focusing on featured. Yeah. Because you know? otherwise, I think what, what happens is it's just going to it bleeds into the chorus mm. and it all just feels like a continuation of, of the one bit. So yeah, we'll copy that down, we'll mute that, whatever this automation is, uh, get rid of that. Snappy or more lush or
Maybe also bring this thing. Yeah. Bring that down for this section because it's quite um, overpowering, I think. I mean, it's a cool sound. Yeah, so what we could do for that is, because um, it's quite a tight, like, plucky sound, if we go in and automate out the decay and release time for the amp and the filter, and then do that in time with each, like... Do you want to change your cam? Gets a bit, yeah, thank you. Gets a bit bigger um, out this way. <clears throat> Building into that, yeah. Yeah, it's a nice so, sound though. No, it fills out nicely. So let's. Um, oh, I know what's wrong. I know what's wrong. Yeah, there you go. I'm not talking about heaps of change, but like. <laughs> then it yeah. goes back to the to the snappy sound. And then we can also look at the actual sound itself because it's mm. a bit uninspired at the minute. do it roll with it because that way yeah it does kind of differentiate it from from the other bit as well see how that sounds in the context like or maybe do it every second time. on it as well. A bit more unison, do you think? Or... Maybe it's like, not so... soften up a bit? Yeah. This thing needs to be lower for this section because it's like Which one is this is your lead vocal here, isn't it? Yeah. They still need to come up with a clip. I wanna do a little uh reverb automation at the end of that so it just kind of blends nicely into the mm. into the keyboard solo. Uh you might have to make the vocal effects look a bit as well. Okay. Have some vibe. Reaching for Hey, 
go, Jay. Who is the reluctant hermit? Jay, he's a friend. Oh, he's a really cool. good streamer as well. Very funny. Nice. Uh, Nick says, I'm no expert. I feel Dan's vocals are getting a bit overpowered. Sounds a bit muddy. Yeah, I think it's a it's a level thing. And also we need to, like you were saying, bring the vocal effects level up. And maybe also EQ some stuff to make more room for your vocals. Because I don't even think anything's particularly EQ'd at the minute. Like I said, I, I EQ'd it to be quite thin. Yeah. A bit with the mix. Um, so which, these top ones here. I mean, I feel like these could just do with a boost. Yeah. Just across the they, board, really. Like the way that I've exported them in my, from my mix, they will be lower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. General. Gotcha. Uh, let's yeah, let's try like plus three on these. Turning the effect forward. Sounds out of time. I think it might be the bass. Yeah, the bass. Yeah, it's out of time. There you go. Look, it all just needs to oh, be. Oh dear me! Scooched. My goodness. There you go. That's kind of one of the pitfalls of working with um, Daniel. With Daniel is my bass is always out. <laughs> no, with uh, with hardware is even the analog stuff. There's there's like a an, a latency just in the act of transferring MIDI to to USB. Um, so you always have to correct. It's usually like around 15, 20 milliseconds or something. So that should. Something's crowding you out. I don't know what it is. Is it this thing? Dun, 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 dun. It's not that other thing. I think it might be the pads. There's a lot of like low end on that. The Banhammer's come out twice so far on this stream. Wow. Banhammer! <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it might be these pads. Because look at all of that down there. Look. Be gone! Nikki, mod, mod everybody. Do you want to be a mod, Nikki? And then you can you can ban. <laughs> do you want to be a mod? You can ban spammers when uh when they call shit. 
Do you want to build a mod? So you have to do it from dashboard? Yeah. Eh. I can show you how to do it if you go to... Uh, <laughs> community. Yeah. Ah, uh, roles manager. Ah. Add new. Oh, what? Is it just every Twitch user? There you go. Go. So, uh, type something now, Nikki. Does should, should she get a sword? You'll get the sword of power! Yeah, I know, Fusis. It was just, um, just money, really. Um, well, you say you're having, having fun. The first day off here, I uh, just walked around a lot between my house and the garage because <laughs> my car's in there and I kept forgetting things and... I look very weird. I tried in dog shit as well. <laughs> that, that made me happy. Oh, she hasn't got a sword. But I'm pretty sure you are a mod. Did it work? Hold on, go back. Did you... Oh, wait, did I mod the wrong person? You need Nicky Mad 1. Oh. <gasps> Quick yeah! Quick Quickly! Quickly! Backboard! <laughs> Community. Rolls. Oh, yeah, no. Lol. How do I? Uh, it's a minus sign. Okay, yeah, yeah. So you they, need them! They're gone now. Nikki Mad 1. There you go. Moderator. You're a mod. I hope you feel really good. Right, say say something now, Nikki. Type something. About yourself. You should have a sword now. Dirty mod. That, whoever that Nikki Mad is, they're just going to be like, why have we been made a oh, wow. community moderator? Oh. What's a chimp spanner? Who <laughs> are these two jabronis? Um, Nikki is a moderator. Moderators! <laughs> you should be able to ban me for backseat producing. No, nah, it's all good. All good, man. We need all the help we can get. We need all the help we can get. I need all the help I can get, that's for sure. What, um, you said you brought some other vocals with you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I did, yeah. What did you bring? Slave. Should we get, should we get him in? You fine. Are you done with this? Are you feeling you need to change? I need to change. I need to, I need to keep my ears, keep my ears fresh. So this is saved. We'll come back to it. Um, D. Say to, what was it called before slave? Burden. Burden. But then we changed it to something else. Bernard. Was it facade? Yeah. Facade, burden, and then slave. Hey, Nicky's got the sword. Sword of power. Moderator! Moderators, ready! Oh man, I used to love gladiators. That's good. Three, <laughs> two, three, one! Should have been Arnie doing that. Didn't it? <laughs> Let's do it, come on! Yeah, I don't have any vocals in this at all yet. This is exciting. You absolute douchebag. You jeb. You absolute squanch. Right, so let's go to your <laughs> new Sam squanch. Use projects. Can I turn the volume down on this again? Oh. We'll let you guys listen to it while we find the. Uh... Mix down, mix down, mix down, mix down. All of these? group so these are all your vocals aren't they these ones here Where the... <laughs> oh 
Oh, Squanch, yeah. Jim, mate, really love to say hi. I've been following for a while. I've been a fan ever since Mobius 1. Oh, thank you very much, dude. Yeah, it's nice to be back making music again after a significant stretch of time away. Man, I spent... Only the light that shines with me Calling for peace That does sound very nice. I'm going to put these in their own area and then we can take... <laughs> I don't know, mate. I don't think anyone would really care. No one cares, mate. What happened? If I did a vocal sample pack. It'd just be me going... Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> and going... Moderator! Moderator! <laughs> um, Laughing oh. like a gimp. What kind of samples would you want, though? To be honest, and this this is the thing, especially like in, in electronic music, Splice is so tapped out for, for good vocal samples. Because mm. all the good ones, everyone uses them. So then you listen to a song, you're like, oh yeah, Splice, I know that. I don't want to give my voice away for free. You get money for it. How much? I don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> so this is like the... Uh... Big A for you. One shot spoke the phrases. Oh yeah. Oof. And this I think is the Wait, why are these not playing? Oh, I did this last time. Look, if I go in there. It's looking for mate point to follow. That's I ridiculous. I swear I did this last time. <laughs> Fucking hate battery, man. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna render this out to audio, mm. and then I can delete battery because I'm not gonna change the MIDI mm. in those drums like they're done. <clears throat> uh, why am I looking? At why is Need for Speed Heat on my samples? <laughs> what? <laughs> Lucy's tunes. I'll be honest. I've never considered it. I've just been. I'm just really busy. Like, I prefer to focus on writing music, and I've got some other projects in the background. It's like I'm so stretched for time. Maybe something in the future. I don't know. We'll see. Hey, there we go. This is, uh, by the way, this is just kind of the, the boring part of the process where I'm trying to figure out what is actually going on in my mix. Uh, like this, for example, has nothing on it. So it can go. Damn. What the hell, man? I like that sound.
hope this isn't too basic a question. When setting your mixing monitors, how do you go about orienting them account for room noise? Um, I mean, to be honest, my, my setup here is very far from professional. I mean, the room's not treated or anything. The only real thing that I know that you have to do is have uh, like a like an equilateral triangle from the speakers to your listening position. Um, tweeters at ear height. Um, that's about it, really. The different speakers, depending on whether they're front or rear ported, they'll sound better or worse if you move them nearer or, or further to walls. Um, I know like in a lot of mixing studios, you'll sometimes see like a desk like this would be almost out in the middle of the room. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's, you're not right up against the back mm -hmm. wall. Uh, and there's also a lot of other things to consider. Like when I when we first moved into this place, this whole setup used to be on that wall. Plugged everything in, played a song. Oh, like, your noise from your computer. No, what, not is it the buzz. Not even noise. The there was no no bass because the dimensions of this room were such that the distance oh, that the distance way too short, yeah. was just cancelling all of the the bass. Yeah. Uh, Fusi said, avoid unobstructed right angles with your walls if you can. Yeah, I mean. It's it's not too bad in here because this is like an attic room. So the the ceiling above me is slanted. There's lots of shit on the walls, but I do need to get it treated, like get some panels. Um nice big sofa at the Coastic back. That'd be cool, room. yeah. Yeah, something like that. Some heavy curtains. I've got a night, you know, my uh, what I was talking about, it's like a large rectangle, nice red covered panel. I got from they made it up studio space, it'd hang lovely above your room. Oh nice. Or in a corner or yeah 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 I, I mean i do need to get something here like up on these would look really good mm. all the rest of it hey thank you very much for the follow safrif uh what was i doing i was putting your all your vocals outside the mix the mastering bus uh so drums group these are pads obviously these are synths Slam, slam, whoosh, bram, brav, Rex group, and then these, I believe, buzz group. Oh, so much stuff. Uh, is that even being used? I don't think it's being used, you know. Yeah, no, it's muted. I'll get rid of that. Um, so lead guitar and fuzz group can go into guitars group. Chains, chains, mimic. What's on this? Nice. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, we made that. It's like, what is that? It's like a... What, it was a... Cog sort of cog. thing, isn't it? So cogs and chains can go in effects. Actually, no, they can go in uh, Foley, because it's like Foley group. Audio track three, what are you doing? There's something there, but it's muted. Hmm. So that can go as well. And then that just leaves vocals. So now we can put all of these group tracks <clears throat> onto one main group. Call it music group and then we want to grab this mastering thing eh go. I think Paul's got too many Jay too way too many do you have a favorite pad suite I'm starting this project with a friend trying to find something that's got darker fantasy vibes yeah, so so for pads, I mean, I can show you what I'm actually using uh, for these. I'm just going to do a quick uh, sort, so everything should be in the in the right order. Um, so if we go to a section of the song that has some pads in it, so this is a synth called Antidote. I use it on everything, everything. pretty much everything. Um, so obviously, this is a, a reason. Oh no, dude, like, no worries, it's, it's all good, all good. Um, obviously, this is a, a Reason extension, but uh, the company that makes it, Synapse, they also do a plugin called Dune. I think it's up to version 3 now, I've got version 2. 
but it's really good for those kind of like uh, unison detuned like pad sounds, very sort of like warm and analogy. Uh, so that's really good. Um, I don't know what else I use really for pads. It is literally just just this. Yes, and obviously more recently, um, the Mini Freak from Arturia, uh, which I'm still kind of getting to grips with. I'm still sort of working it in, into the setup. But this is really, really good for uh, sort of lush ambient pads as well. And I think at some point they're going to release it as a as a VST. So, yeah, keep an eye out for that. Uh, right, so now your vocals should sound correct because they don't have mastering on them. Is it to do the mid Easy. Last one, thank you, Quinn. That um, buzz group thing, this could all come up like quite a bit because that's like a sort of feature, mm. feature sound. Uh, Nicky said this track takes me to the bottom of the ocean for some reason, swimming free in slow-mo. I think that's a good shout. It's very like heavy and weighty and mm. just dark and stuff. Um, so what are you what are your initial what are you feeling? You think anything that's kind of not working? Um, I, the vo vocally, I need to take this mix now and re so what was and re level it because the levels aren't right for some reason. Yeah, a bit all over the place. And also, I'm listening on your monitors and they're very different to mine. Yeah, yeah. Were well, the heavy yeah. drums not in yours then? Not in that middle section, no. So I must have had a look at the previous version. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was um, that filtered out effect. Section, and then when it got to this bit and was still doing it. In that case, then you, you could you could just automate the vocals to lift at that point. Yeah, they get lost there. There may be a bit loud in the chorus now. It's like. Just need leveling. Yeah, I'll I'll let you do. It. I'll send you a version of this, mm. and then you can sort of level it on your end. Yeah. Um, I don't think this one needs a lot doing to it. To be honest, like song wise, there was one thing, but then I, it's a vocal thing. It's just taking 
one one of the chorus lines of putting it over that last section. If you can remember what it is, yeah. Bury me deep. Bury me deep. So you're thinking of reusing that? Yeah, either the effective octave or the lead vocal or all of it. Whatever feels right. Yeah, I'll just I'll take it all over. Uh, and where do you want to put that? Just over the last chorus, over the last verse. So let me just put this like up at the end of here. each eight bars. Is it? Yeah, reluctant. Um, Jay, I need to remix the. I need to re-level the vocals out with this new instrumental because I was I mixed it to an older one. There's definitely things that some lines that need to come up and down. I'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah, I like it though. It works really well. If we sort of bring that way down and just make it quite mm. uh, like, fuck's sake, uh, make it quite ethereal, that sound good. Bob, Bob. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Yeah, it's getting there. It'll sound good when it's when it's done. I'll turn these down. Keep that one where it is. Yeah. Okay. What is actually? Oh, that sounds cool. The octave. Mm. You could just use the octave. Yes. Yeah. So let's do one, two, three, and then mute these. And then I have to bring it back up again. Oh, 
I feel like that wants to be in the same place as that one. So it's at the end of there. Does it clash with anything? I don't know, kind of. Um, so you want to get rid of the effects? Get rid of the delay, definitely. That's Be with just the octave. Octave. <coughs> octave and reverb, yeah. That's such a cool effect. Yeah. I mean, I could try it without the... Uh... Do, it without, do it without reverb. lead part should be over where you're doing the because it doesn't make sense to have it while you're singing words sure and then move it to where you're just doing through a, a full spin through refresh i'm gonna go to the toilet yep all right dan's dan's having uh tinkle time i'm breaking the seal he's breaking the seal um we're gonna have a listen through to the song no gabbing no stopping i'm gonna mute my mic anything that you guys hear sounds like obviously the, the vocal leveling stuff that's going to get sorted out on on dan's end so i'll have to send him this version um and then he, he can sort of redo that so vocal balancing stuff is like a thing but yeah, anything else that sort of pops to mind or sounds off or weird, please feel free to tell me because I don't always catch everything. So I'm going to go for a one, uh, playthrough and I will shut the fuck up now. Drag my 
Oof. Thank you very much, Fezus. Um, yeah, it's it's like it's like a rock song more than anything. It's like yeah. it's cool. Um, I've turned <clears throat> for some reason this little melody thing. Works in the sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right with it. Uh, yeah, there was. I wanted to just put like some uh, something on this, like just a like some verb or delay or something. Um, so that is. Do it on. That because it sounds good. Uh, what's the best way to do this? Pardon me. So let's do send effect three, automate up, and then I need to actually make a send effect. Create send effect. Could you distort it like an octave higher? So you've got like this really high pitched. Yeah. I'm not gonna do it now, but Well kinda of, kinda of like what we did on the um Banshee. the cyber crazy yeah. effect where it kind of just it frequency shifts. Oh over. yeah, yeah. Oh thank you, Nikki. Really glad you like it. You've been here pretty much since the beginning of it, so you know it you know it <laughs> you know it inside and out, you'd be sick of it soon. Um nice one, Nikki, that's very nice. not doing the do. It's too quick. Yeah, because it was kind of, it was like out there a bit, like poking. The gasps, they're quite expressive, but they kind of sit all right. <sighs> like you're struggling for air at that point. Yeah, like what if. Well, let me let me try this octave thing first mm. on um, on this channel. So we'll just bring a copy of that down. It's going to be interesting. Uh, actually, there's a there's a type of distortion you can use on this that might be. Of course, maybe not that one. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'll mute that delay. <laughs> it's temporarily. <laughs> like, Something crazy. Like low that. in the mix, yeah. like. I put the delay back on it. So it. Okay. I also turned these. Uh... I find them a bit distracting. Really? Mm. Oh, I've got, gotten used to them now. I need some time with that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we could try another a different layer, right? Like... 
bed. I'll leave the octaves. <laughs> if you just turn it down, that's gain them down. And I just, think having a clearer vocal might work just better. Have them normal, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, it's just a bit quiet. Well, if you're going to re-level it anyway, there's no point in me. <laughs> I feel like you're kind of on a track with it, to be honest. I think I think you could level it here and I wouldn't have to do anything with it. Yeah. It's, it's, they're very small tweaks and it's section by section as a group, so. So just up to the never, isn't yeah. it? Oh, God, don't try and... Do you want to hear it transpose? Didn't even do anything. That's cool. Probably on the wrong channel, you know. Oh, that's like the little megaphone. Um, I don't know. I mean, it, so you think that's that's too quiet? It, it was before. Those ones are potentially sitting very quiet in the background because you've built it so hard. Yeah. Um, who says this track has so much potential my creative brain is racing excellent mate I want, I want to hear what send you do send all the ideas tell us your ideas give us inspiration yeah definitely mate. actually I don't know if you already um, are in but uh, music sharing demo sharing all the rest of it is uh, more than welcome in like, the, in you, the ideas are more than welcome because they give us like instant direction inspiration so somewhat you know not everything's going to fit but if you've got an idea throw it in you never know um, <clears throat> so you're saying the the filtered vocals when the straight after that section there when the yeah. drums like unfilter. Because this is going to be the end, isn't it? Yeah. Obviously. Uh, I the vocals sound like they're about to. It's about to go again. Mm. Um. So. Fine. What you can do is sound. Like, like on the second line, doing like that. So. Weird effect for down tuned. I think it was this thing. What? So keep it to just. That's that. Yeah. Maybe also that as well. I reckon sound design that. Do weird crap to it. Let me just try. Down tune, up tune. In a blood filled rage. Hmm. That last digger grave because I feel murder. That was a bit quiet. I oh, I had some stuff muted. 
In the intro, I would make the ping pong delay really massive and side chain it to the vocal so it doesn't get too muddy when the vocal is going. Oh, the the outro. Uh, the outro. Yeah, I think I could do that actually. Um, I can just side chain your effects group to your to your main thing. You also wanted to do mid side. Yeah. Let's try that. Uh. <laughs> Are you losing your shit, Dan? Uh, I can remember how to do this now. Um, so, inserts to in, and then we'll do EQ, EQ, mid, out to in, out to in, side, out to in, out to in, back. That should now be ready to do Hear it more in the chorus. Of the Yeah, def definitely fuses. There's, there's a lot of crossover, and especially, obviously, because of you know music that I've been hearing you guys make and Katie make and everything. I, I do feel like some of that sort of bleeding over in in like the darker, more ambient stuff as well. Um, plus, a lot of wave bands are into prog and <laughs> jazz. Yeah. It's just a weird crossover sort of thing. So yeah, that's cool. The um, <clears throat> Cortex band says the UI is sick. It is. It's a lot of fun. So obviously, every device on here has got like audio outputs and inputs. You've also got these things which are like control uh, voltage inputs as well. So there's certain devices that they don't produce any sound, but they just modulate. So like this LFO, you could hook it up to, you know, one of these EQ bands and then that automates it throughout the track and stuff. Um, so yeah, you can get really creative with it. It's also a little bit confusing sometimes. Um, you can kind of focus as well. So it only shows you the cables like on the device that you're actually selecting. That kind of helps a bit. But uh yeah, I think that sounded pretty good. Mm, yeah, definitely. I like that a lot. Um, I should do you a an instrumental bounce, though, of this. I think, I think we're going to be all right. You think? Yeah. The, I mixed them fine. It was just the, the level. Yeah. I think we've balanced it out fine now. Yeah. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Yeah. yeah. I don't need to tinker with that. All right, that's good. <laughs> that's one less thing for me to do if, if it's okay i know it's a bit of draw it's a drawn out process and it gets a bit monotonous but can we just have one more listen through and i'll, yeah, I'll listen for little vocal levels yeah yeah yeah. just as, as musically you i think it's fine yeah just levels yeah all right get get your listening ears on hey thank you very much for the follow lane narrows okay you ready yeah, we're, just, we're going we're going through one more time dan's dan's making some vocal notes I 
this part's been bugging me. Do you know the part where it goes into the chorus and you've got that... It needs a synth to build to that part, some twinkly something to fill. There's a bit of emptiness. Okay. Uh, so you're talking before the chorus kicks in? Literally, when it's just like, yeah, uh, there we go. If this just took a little bit longer, you'll get what I'm saying. Yeah. That point. Yeah. Okay. It's got bugging me that. I've got an idea. So I'm gonna try. Um, let's use this guy. Oh, this actually, yeah, this could work really well. Just that. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, when it gets near the end, it can go. Y yes, exactly. <laughs> shimmering sort of thing and then if I put um oh check this out it's gonna be cool maybe even lower actually and then cut the bass out of it as well It needs to be more like shimmery. I've no idea if it's going to work or not, but. More identifiable. Okay, fair enough. Um, also, I want to see what Fuse is saying. Wait, I'll mix tomorrow. Yeah, like um, switching between like narrower and wider between sections is always good as well. Um, yeah, let me try. Uh, let me try that actually for this bit. So because. Um, all the music is on its own uh, bus. I can just automate the stereo width. So. Send to your vocals as well. But yeah, so you're saying something like um like a little synth motif or something. Yeah. That's like it's something really simple or it doesn't have to be too busy. Yeah, good shout on the stereo uh, automation fuses. I like that. Um, right, a synth. A synth, a synth, a synth. Uh, I might just see if this thing's got any presets in it. Mm. Could be something in there that works really well. Uh, oh, need to. Would some kind of a riser work at that point? Yeah, we could do that as well. Like, um, I mean, it could just be like a, you know, like a noise building mm. or something, or, yeah, I don't know. Um, right, MIDI, local control, on. There you go.
Easy, easy peasy, mate. That sounds really nice, I like that. Um, so I've got to put uh, local mode off. Okay. Maybe also some kind of like, like a little suck back effect like, would be really cool. Um, let's see, samples. Keep it in anyway. Some of these are. Yeah, the A, the bend that in, that would work. Mm -hmm. Up to the pitch of the song. Hey, it's in the right key. Sick. That's good. Yeah, that, that'd be great. If, I, if it's quite low in the mix. Um... I think it's just not the right kind of sound. Like I like the sound. It's just where it starts. Where it goes. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, bring that in. Why? 
feature it or make it so people. I think it could reach the note sooner. vocals and I have to shift them so they come in the... yeah okay all right we can do this uh, so I've cut everything and I can grab it oh it's gonna it's whatever it's this might be a fail this might be it's worth trying right let me save first and I can always I can always go back And then also you've got that little drop of the in the synth sound yeah. is really cool as well. Uh, so we need to do, what is that? What's, what is this? Why is this happening? So it's these, well, it's all of this actually. But bring that note out. Yeah, bring that note. Keep it going so it's the only thing that you hear. Uh, what, what is this? Okay, ah. Andrew. Uh, I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. I could just time, stre time stretch it. Yeah, right. Might sound a bit. <laughs> Thank you, Nikki. Could just make my own riser. Right, because I think that might work. Let's do envelope. Yeah, we're free. I was thinking, uh, like having that kind of like. I, I don't want to do that right now. I, I need time alone to do that. But you could take some of the breaths, the little rapid breaths from earlier. And like For the input, Fusis, appreciate it. It's really nice to have um, people to bounce off in chat, so thank you. Kendrick. Sound as cool as the sample. So she's sample. It's not you, right? <laughs> we'll always come back to it. It's more like cool. Actually, sounds right. Yeah. It needs to reach the note. 
note at the high pointy note at that point. Around there, you think. Just a bit so let's join those together. Bounce to new recordings. And then uh, then that's gonna hmm. So you're saying yeah. Earlier? Is there can you put the click on? Uh, start with it might be lead it misleading there. Yeah. So I'll also um I'll just put a bit of verb on it as well because it's kind of dry. I'll talk you down at the end there. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, can you not find it? I wonder what you did. Uh, plug it in. There. Hey, thank you very much for the resub, Jordan. Appreciate it, mate. Oh. I'm happy to listen now. Do it.
Mate, that's sounding kench. Thank you so much, everyone. We reached the level four hype train. Ooh. That's fantastic. Awesome. Um, and thank you again so much for all the gifted subs, Minimal. It's very much appreciated. Um, yeah, with regards to 1899, um, everyone stick your fingers in your ears right now. Mute me if you've not watched it yet. Turn the volume down. If they do a 1980s time period, this would go very well in it. It'd be cool. Oh, it's safe now. You can, it's all good. Do you want to let the cat in? I don't mind him being in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, you, well, let me, I put that volume boost in on, on the riser. Hey, Kenji, come on, come say hi. Come say hi to Twitch. Hey. Oh, oh, he's getting comfy, look. Does it sort out your flops on the space bar? <laughs> stop, stop it. That's just a volume automation. All right. So do you want it like louder or I, is that? I think it needs to yeah, be rip people's ears apart. Kendrick, he's looking at me like he's going to bite me. Oh yeah, he misses you too, Nikki. All right, that's it, fuck off now. Something like that maybe? Yeah. <laughs> hey, so I Ken Kendra got stuck on uh, Dan's leg. Uh, you said there was a line of vocals that needed to come up. Drag my chains before the second chorus. Kendrick, what are you doing? You've been a nuisance. Hey. <laughs> hey, do you want to help us finish the song, yeah? Write right, some music, yeah? What do you reckon? Yeah, we're nearly there now. Um, what needs to, let's just do, let's finish this song, put it to bed. What needs to change? So that rise has gone up. Yep, rise has gone up. has been lifted. Yep. Um, you were going to add the little zzz in effect. Oh, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you remember where you did it? It's in the octave. I drag my chains to the bottom of the darkness in a blood filled rage. Yeah. All it's come this far. This thing. Glitch on it or something. Um, yeah, it'd be good to put this one to bed, get it for now. It's got this the mid chain on it. Yes. Side chain. Girls just wanna have fun. That's what I wanted that. Oh, that. Wait, is this got. This keyboard's got aftertouch on it. I didn't know that. That's good. 
the harder you press down, it sends another modulation out so you can open up filters and stuff with it. I thought it didn't have it. That's cool. Ah, oh, idiot. I'm just trying stuff out. I mean, it might not. It might not be a thing. This is all the little magic that makes a difference, sir. It will make a difference. You come to me. Ow. Come to me. Kendrick. Fuck <laughs> off. Oh. Uh, stutter. Sixty fourths. One of these keys turns it on. It's this one. Um, on this far. Um, on this far. On That's cool. This far. Ooh, nice. On this far. On this far. Okay, I'm going to record it and it should capture it all. Did it do it? Yeah, nice. Only to come this far. On this Very good, Paul. Very good work you were doing right now. Does it happen anywhere else? Yes. It's there. So I do the same. And I'll just bring the automation over. Oh, so many tracks. Too many tracks. Too many tracks. Too many cooks. Spoiling my soup. Have you seen that video? The Too Many Cooks video? Um, potentially. It's the parody of like 1980s family comedy shows oh, no. where they're like introducing all the members of the family. It goes on for like 15 minutes, but it like degrades each time the chorus repeats. And like there's a character in it that's like murdering all the people. I'll play it to you when we come off. It's amazing. <laughs> Too many cooks. Was uh, pronounced this time. Don't know why. Do you mind? Me. Oh. Dude, you're being very overbearing right now. Just before the chorus, we've got the snare. With the gap of button. Smashing glass. Yeah, yeah, we could do that. MJ kind of thing. I'd start a scream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll put that in now. Um, yeah. That's what it's like every day. Oh. Trying to do my stuff and he's just like, give me attention. At least he's not screaming at you. At least he's silent. Yeah. Right, come on. Come on, I'll give you fuss. Bonjour. I'll give you fuss in a minute. We're almost done. <laughs> Go away. Give me some fuss. Uh, come here. Give me some fuss. I give you first. Um, I, I don't know why that effect's not coming out as strongly. Maybe you don't need it on that one. Yeah. I'm right with that solution. It means I don't have to fix it. Uh, right, broken glass. Um... Smashing window. Smashing glass. On the first chorus or the second one? Hey, Demon, how you doing? We're uh, three, almost four hours deep into finishing a Zeta 2 song. In the bottom of the... D yeah. So, uh, second chorus? On the that? darkness, yeah. Seven. Man hit by car. Like that one? Oh. I say one of the first... Oh, sorry, the... Try that one if you want. Uh, so it is. Bottom of the 
I thought you meant like as a layer on top of no, the. I mean like a up from. To the bottom of the darkness. Without the drums. Without the yeah, it needs to just be that. Okay. So that means I have to get rid of the little budget. Can that be in the first chorus? The glass. The, the I think it. Oh, actually, it's not in there because it's a riser in the first chorus. Oh, I'm sorry, Paul. Yeah. I'm sorry, Paul. Try yeah. it, try it, try it. It's worth trying. Look it out something. I like my drum fill. No. It is a very, very good drum fill. Definitely. To the bottom of the Personally. What if it's we kill the kicks and everything, but keep the brap underneath the glass? So I think it will kind of just. While I track my chains, to the bottom of the darkness. feedback long enough i think uh the reason it's buried is because there's um there's like that chorus effect on it but it, it makes it it takes up a lot of space frequency wise so i could turn turn the chorus down and the guitar up mm. i think that might make sense we'll just kind of like bring the Yeah, we can do that. So some extra processing from yeah. your... Ooh, there's a really cool effect, actually. Um, on this, this one. To the bottom of the darkness In a blood-filled rage Alas, my name Let's see. I drag my chains Get so confused with how many tracks there are now. End box effects, which is this one. I drag my chains to the bottom of the darkness in a blood filled rage. I lost my name in the bottom of the hole. Bear with me. <laughs> Attack machines. To the bottom of the darkness. In a blood filled rage. Distort it, maybe. Attack. Attack. Jeez. 
like the lead vocal just seems to be like clean up crap talking piece like this. I lost my name in the bottom of the Certain, parts, certain bits, yeah, or like at the bottom of the hole, just make it loud. No, I mean, as an effect, like, I don't know, are you feeling it or um, more noise, maybe like that brings the sounds evil. It's whether you hear it. Let me try it. I'll just mute the audio for the bits we don't want it on. Then mute. Not that one. To the bottom of the... going on. It's... Like on that one, maybe? Definitely on that one, yeah. The blood filled rage. I lost my name in the bottom of the hole. In a blood filled rage. Hmm. Try a different effect. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, it's worth trying something else. Um, I mean, you could keep that one for the first one. The second one could be different. Or no, nah, it's kind of it's not really punching through. Um, needs to loop it on a bit where something's actually happening. Dark night. Tell them. Dark night. Tell the bottom of the dark night. Tell the bottom of the dark night. Not pitched, maybe, or or like a sub octave, or I I don't mind the pitch stuff, um, but it can be the yeah, sub octave, the octave thing. I was thinking to make it richer and like crazy and deep. To the bottom of the darkness. Hear that? Uh... Oh man, hard. What's going? Is my is my octave active at that point? So you could grab that and just bring it up. But it's got some of the clean in there as well, so it'll boost that too. Uh. Shouldn't have the clean. To the bottom of the darkness. To the bottom of the. See. We'll get there. Uh... <laughs> that might actually work in the mix. Let's try it. Never Let's play. try it. Maybe if I grit it up a bit, like yeah. To the bottom of the darkness. In it's, it's whatever in it. Uh, let's try some. To the bottom of the darkness. To the bottom of the darkness. To the bottom of the darkness. The dark. The one before. To the bottom of the darkness. The. To the bottom of the darkness. A bit brighter. To the bottom of the darkness. That'll cut through a bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. True. The 
I'd say mute it because you've already got the low guitar okay. happening at the same time. Alas, my name. Alas, my name. Alas, my name. Alas, my name. I lost my name. Sorry, guys, been muted the whole time. Um, I lost my name. I lost my name. Can't really hear the words, though. I lost my name. Yeah. It'll be supported by the lead, though, won't it? Yeah, true. True, true, true. I lost my name. Fuck it, let's, let's just try it. So it either works or it doesn't. Was that a weird thing he did in that in Junkie? Uh, it, he did some kind of like MIDI thing. It, where you just like it was uh, it was this thing, Echo Mode. Uh... That pro. Oh, was that what you did? Yeah, I literally just jiggled the mouse around. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll do what I did in Junkie and just draw without any sense of like, I just did that. <laughs> See what it sounds like with the lead vocal. <laughs> what, Dan, what are we doing? I lost my name. In the well, I'm a bit lower in the mix. It might add a bit of weirdness to it. Maybe not as like. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, I don't know, dude. I'll turn it down. It's not, it's not a vibe. What was the one you doing before with Neptune? About the. Oh, it's still in there. Just uh, it's this thing. I think just something like that subtly underneath the, the lead line would be. Yeah. Uh, I haven't isolated that little frog burp I did, and that adds a lot of detail. Where's the frog burp? You know, the frog burp. <laughs> it's in that. I'm just after that section. There's one that was roll. <laughs> roll. Roll. I lost my name. In the... I lost my name. In the bottom of the... It's weird. Sick. Yeah, weird and wonderful. Right, show me the frog burp. Always does this.
<laughs> you could you know what you could do with that though. <laughs> hold on, hold on. What is it? <laughs> Happy Brawl's Day to you. I bet we can still make this sound like something cool though. Kind of cool. That's actually sick, though. That's cool. Oh. Sounds nice. That's been like a weird interlude that leads into the song. Only we'll know that it came from the frog bullet. Yeah. That's actually kind oh, of. Oh, that's dead good. That's really cool. Can we stick that anywhere as just like a background layer? Like. I think there's so much going on here. You wouldn't hear it. Yeah, that's true. Map solid. Drag my chains to the bottom of the darkness in a blood filled rage. I lost my name. I think that sounded really cool and it just sounds like a hellscape. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I get it. What do you think is too much? It's probably like a tad loud, but it's kind of, it was distracting what was going on a little bit. Yeah, fuck it. I'm, I'm sticking with it. Okay. I mean, it's pretty much done. That last digger grade, because I feel murder needs to be a tad louder, and I think it's a. Yeah. I'll need to is... wrap it up, like, properly, because it just stops at the minute. Um, you could even just end it on the. Uh, Yeah, let's do that. So go and slow break beat. Downgrade it. Can can downgrade it. <laughs> can you downgrade it to a shit drum loop? Um, a bit crusher or something? Yeah. I don't even know where it is. I see that. No, for this one. Then fills it. So it just turns it to Yeah, that was that good. That was great. Okay, so we'll <laughs> automate the effect so it turns on when all the music stops. Uh, Noah says minimal outro with just change dragging. You could end with just the change dragging. Uh, yeah, could try that. Or we could layer it under these. So the drums fade out and it's just chains or something like.
and then I'll filter it so you don't hear all that yeah. crunchy stuff. Uh, so we do. No, I'm not, I can't rely on that crunchy stuff. Really? Yeah. I didn't. Oh, okay. Because it reminds me of a computer game. <laughs> <laughs> a computer game. Oh. <laughs> don't touch my computer game. Ooh, beautiful. Let's get these chains in there. The people are asking for chains. Give me Jenny. <laughs> Give me Jenny. Uh, Give me Jenny. I like it. I'm trying to think if it's possibly too much chain that because I like the effect of the the, the degraded drums filtering out. What if I filter these out as well? Yeah. So I make room for. Oh, then I've got to bust the chain. <laughs> I've already done it. It's fine. Um, Give these group. people chains. Uh, just a filter, do you think? Or let me try a filter. I think it would be better if you try a filter. Let me try a filter. I might try a filter, you know. Uh, all right, enabled. Derek. Filter. Derek's here. Everyone's going to be fine now. Derek's here. Bit left. Yeah. The beat needs to be the focus. It's good. That sounds kind of cool. Shall we do a playthrough? Control S, play from start, and I think we've addressed everything we needed to. Do you remember that time I saved so many times it just quit? <laughs> <laughs> Right, here we go, people. I'm going to mute the mic again. I'm going to shut the fuck up. Uh, but I think it's finished. I think it's done.
But yeah, I think that's mm. that's good. It's there. Yeah. Just those two little details, I think. Yeah. So, do you want to remove that BB quickly while we well, as we'll forget? Where was it? Um, second verse. Second verse. Just tell me where it is. This one. Oh, you want that gone? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think it's cool that it happens there. Yeah. Like it definitely fits. I think that sounds good. Yeah. Do you want to render? It's up to you. Do you want to? How hard would it be to side chain? Oh shit! I forgot. Um, uh, he's easy. Easy. I think it's easy. All right. And also, should it carry on over the drum thing? Um. Take Oh no, the, the hellscape thing. Oh, the just, yeah, the yeah. hellscape thing used to go on. Right? Yeah. So that's fine. Do you want to keep that synth then? Is no. Too much? It's no. too much. Yeah, yeah. Um, so to do that, I'm getting confused now. Uh, I would put a. Oh, actually, no, it's easy. It's easy. Put compressor on it. And then we'll go here and we'll use send effect 8. And go to the sidechain input of the hellscape, which is there. And then we'll send your lead vocal, which is oh. this one. A drag mark. And then we send lead vocal to send effect eight. And then it should pull down the hellscape whenever you sing. Uh, Nick said, no dragon chains in the end. No, we've got dragon chains in the end. Uh, we just turned them down a bit. They're in there, though. Verse. Yeah, uh, so that is, uh, pardon me, lead guitar, lead guitar, lead guitar. That's quite a good name for a song, Dragon Chains. Not like Dragging Chains, mm. Dragon Chains. I like that, it's got Im some good imagery to it. Imagine Dragon D's Chains. <laughs> Off 
really It sounds cut off. Go straight there. Right, save it. What do you think the title? The title? What do you think the title? Oh, I thought we were calling it Slave. Yeah. I'm happy with Slave if you are. Yeah. It's oh, quite cool. dark. Isn't it? Just yeah. Slave. Yeah. Cool. Uh, right, export loop. Dropbox. What does chat think to the name of the song? We've, uh, we've called it Slave. Uh, it's the 12th month, it's the first day, 22nd. You want it as a wave, don't you? I have it in 32.4. I have it in black. <laughs> that good work. Mm, that sounded bang on. Happy with that. It's worth getting it to that point. You know, when I've done my vocals, we put them in, we'll look at the song, and we go, right, that's getting finished. Yeah. Mix it. There's still, I think, from my end, there's like EQing and stuff to be done. There's a few sections where everything gets a bit much. Yeah. And I need to just cut some frequencies out and stuff. Hey, thank you very much, Nero. And uh, yeah, thank you everyone for sticking around with us while we've worked on it. Yeah, Slave is the first track. I think we've actually just finished. We've got the side, did the mid side chain. It's mastered. There's no mastering on it yet. No, no just well, it's, good, it's fine. But so in, once, in terms of mix, once we run it through like ozone or whatever, it's going to be really loud. Yeah. There's just yeah, there's just some harshness and stuff that I need to tame out. Um, and like I was saying to Dan earlier, I'm going to have to like get all these tracks named and coloured and organised and stuff because it's, at the minute it's really hard to navigate. Uh, Cortex says Slaves or Chains. I mean, Chains is a cool title as well. Chains. Yeah, they're both good chains. Slave, a slave normally got chains on him anyway. So. Yeah. Corporate space is a way off still. Yeah. The mix on it is like... Yeah. Yeah. Speak. Hey, thank you, Nikki. Thank you for sticking in with us as well. I know it gets a bit boring sometimes when we like we're in the zone like well in the weeds just like tweaking a snare drum and you're all just sat there like Doosh, go, <laughs> <laughs> it's the process though isn't it you know definitely if you want to learn how to use splice this is the twitch channel for you um but yeah it's all coming along pretty pretty good it's going to be nice to have like once the finished tracks are all sort of stacked up just listen to them like different orders mm -hmm. listen how they flow into each other and stuff like that because there's a really big variance of styles <clears throat> from song to song um it tells a story though but yeah it, it all sort of fits like even in this song um yeah no worries david i think we're we're yeah we're, we're finished now i'm just going to pause syncing because it's uh killing my stream um but yeah i mean even in this track because it's it's even though it's got a really different vibe it's still got that kind of zeta style guitar lead it's got those like 80s type synths and stuff so i think it's still mm -hmm. it'll all feel good together yeah it's more industrial more it's definitely got dark tones in it yeah i'd say that's probably the the darkest zeta song by a long stretch. yeah 100 percent but even then, it's still got those kind of like uplift, like soaring sort of vocal things going on. It's mm -hmm. still quite expressive. Nero, I'm still in favour of pulling a double album if you have tons of song ideas. Mate, one album's quite enough. 
<laughs> Zeta 2, light or dark, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's good. Um, I'll probably be on again tomorrow, I suppose. Yeah. I've got nothing else to do. I'm just, <laughs> just kicking about the house on my own. Um, now I've got everything set up. I, I kind of want to do some like more electronic-y themed stuff. Um, and some guitar as well. I really want to finish off um, Machine God because that's really, really close to being done. It just needs a solo, I guess. And also some retracking as well. So I'll, I'll do that with you guys uh, when it comes to it. I was uh, going to suggest if you're up for it, you could probably polish that and master it. Yeah, could be. Depends on if you want some time away from it. I mean, the, th the thing is, I'm going to have time. So I'll just... I'll organise the project, get everything sounding a bit smoother. Mm. And... Have in the back. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Um, do you know any good any good channels I should be raiding? There's nobody on that I follow. There's no one on? No. Who's who's on? Um I don't know who that is. Shall I raid him anyway? Uh, sometimes it's good to raid yeah. new people. Alright, let's do it. We're raiding. Oh yes. yeah, no, no, I know this guy. I know this guy. <laughs> All right, we're doing it. We're raiding. So thank you so much, everyone, for sticking with us tonight. Uh, it's been really good to have you all here. Um, keep an eye out tomorrow. I will be on at some point. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, but yeah, and we'll we'll be doing this again soon as well. Absolutely, Lots yeah. more stuff to do. Uh, so yeah, fantastic. Um, have wonderful mornings, afternoons, evenings. And uh, catch you guys next yeah. time. Hey, love you too, Nikki. See you soon. Bye. There we go. It's kind of annoying. How do you can you jump straight to there? Yeah, the thing. if you go to Twitch and you click rage, you can just press play. I've done that before and then it keeps like a preview. It stops up there. Hell yeah, Jim. And Jim, I'm from your channel.